Hey, hey, we're back again, the Coon Prairie Ramblers, and we're still talking about first cars. First and car. I'm still back on KC in his first car. Well, the one thing I was going to say is I used to, na- I don't never do this anymore, but I used to always name my cars. My cars always had well, names. I still do that. But and uh, I- even though my Chevrolet Bel Air was two tone brown, I called it the Gray Ghost. Gray Ghost. And I don't have any idea why I called it the Gray Ghost. Other than cool I thought name. maybe I thought it was the Gray Ghost hmm. or something, but. Uh, Anyhow, that was the name of my car. Was a great ghost. What was the name of your lemon marauder or your lemon pepper? My what? Well, your, the one we were just talking your about. Your yellow car. The one we were talking about the opal. Yeah, I called it uh, Bug. Oh, that's right, Bug. Bug, 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 bug. bug. Then later on, a girlfriend of mine bought me a tag. It said Luke, and I put that on the front. So there might be a picture of that floating around, but. Yeah. But we haven't heard anything from the mailman in oh, yeah. his yeah. first. He's so fleet of foot, well, he might not need a vehicle. My first car, I wasn't real. I was proud of it at the first, at the time, but I'm ashamed that I ever had it now because it's uh, Edsel. No, it was a <laughs> it was a long Cadillac. No, not Cadillac. It was a oh, it was a Pontiac. Sorry, Bonneville, a, not a Bonneville. It Catalina, was Catalina, Catalina. Red. Sounds like dressing. And then I happened to mention it was long, lean, and yeah, what well, year? Approximately early sixties. I can't. Really Didn't have tail that. fins, did it? And it was also a wide track Pontiac. Yeah. Well, anyway, and it was also a Pontiac that t- you know uh, tended to have transmission problems. Oh, <laughs> that's so not good. I this thing for it was sitting down the street. I used to walk down the street, you know, from my house where I lived with mom while I was in high school, and I'd go past this. Beautiful Catalina. Find a picture of that for oh, the YouTube man. version. I, uh, yeah, I'll, I'll get one of the nice. <laughs> There'll be one out there. What year was it? Early sixties. Early sixties. I forget. But uh, it, it was it was my first one. But I only got to drive, take one trip in it. I went to Muncie, Indiana, Muncie, Indiana, with what? my friend, friend Fred and his uncle George. Well, Fred that makes George. sense because they make transmissions in Muncie, in Muncie Indiana. So you could have picked you you could picture one up and then you could, yeah. Oh, oh well, then uh, we drove back and idea. then soon after that, all the train. And you ever see that episode of uh, Barney Fife and Andy and where Bonnie Fife buys a lemon and they're taking everybody's in the car and they're driving down the road and everything's going wrong with this car. You know, with the, that was yours. That yeah, was, yeah, it was mine. I'm thinking, and while we're driving along, I'm thinking, and and, and we we get stranded. And I, I have to get it towed, and it ends up parked in my mother's backyard forever and ever for at least a year or so until my brother came by and and said, "Well, I'm gonna get rid of that thing for you." Wow! That was my first car. Did now, they have I, a name? Did you name it? Oh uh, no, the red sled. <laughs> but I had, a, but after that, I had Be a red. Uh, I, and I'm and I'm not sure time wise, but I had a uh, a bon uh, a, a Belvedere. Belvedere. Plymouth Belvedere. Plymouth Belvedere. Black. <clears throat> Ooh. And it had the big fins. And that thing I love tail tank. fins. And that was a come great out. car. It had a three on the on the, on the know, tree. The three, three on the tree. Had a, a slant six cylinder. <laughs> wow. And, and but uh, some uh, uh, a neighbor girl destroyed that one for me. The sledgehammer, because you uh, it was parked in, in her driveway. I was visiting her sister, and uh, and her the younger sister came out. Hey, I want to listen to radio. Okay, so she jumps in, turns the radio on, and it didn't turn on. So she uh, flipped the key. Well, it's a not, it's a standard shift, yeah. and I had it parked in reverse. So see, when she flipped the key on, it, it, it took it. off backwards <laughs> and went across the street and and t boned a Rambler American coming by coming backwards. Seriously, yeah, it destroyed the Rambler. That Actually, it. that didn't destroy my car, but it destroyed that Rambler America. But what was is what was destroyed was my financial situation. That's what I'm talking about. I had to pay for that all because you want to listen to radio. Yeah. women. Now that that I don't, I can't remember what happened to that car. It's all it's a fog now. But then my, my what I count count is my very first car was a '64 and a half Mustang. Well, the uh, first car I really actually bought. A half. Yeah. Oh, it's been fun driving down the road. Oh, yeah, yeah, and a half a car. Now, how many tires, how many wheels did it have on it? Uh, well, it had... Uh, it Three? Had, 
four so five or had six. four different kinds of wheels. Had six it. wheels if it was a and, Mustang. And when I and go half. down the street, I mean, you know, I was a poor, you know, high school boy, and I couldn't keep the right kind of tires on. It would squeal going straight down the street. <laughs> You know, different wheels, you know, tires and stuff. Something wrong with that. Take that horse out now back and shoot. Now, I had is The odd thing is, it was a little six-cylinder. It's in a 64-and-a-half Mustang. I got a six-cylinder, but I got a nice tra- four-speed transmission on it. Really? Yeah. And guys at school were always wanting to trade me their tra- you know, transmission because they had, like, a, a, a big-engine Mustang, but with an automatic or something like that. And they were, everybody was always trying to get my four-speed transmission. I said, oh. no. Oh, man. Wow, that must have been a check magnet for you. Yeah. It, well, yeah. In fact, I got a couple speeding tickets because you know uh, you You're chasing take, women around. Take, take a girl home from em. school, and she so, she'd want. Hey, I want to shift this thing. She'd get up, get up, and set on the transmit. You know, on the, oh gosh. Wow, man, I'm, you know, I'm also I'm just operating the pedals. Did, and, did you ever uh, pull the old accidental shift, and your hand slid off onto her leg? No, uh, we'll save that for another episode. <laughs> oh. but, uh, I think that was a common but, uh, trick back going, in going the day. To the neighborhood and this uh, girl, um, they called her. They called her. She, in, uh, she had a nickname in, in high school. She was called Susie Homemaker. Homewrecker. Homemaker. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> because she was the. Uh, she was in. I don't know. She uh, the clothing and stuff like that. But uh, she caused me to get my very first speeding ticket. Women will do that to you, Officer Crudelbot. She stuck her tongue in your ear and you floored it. Man, you oh, put no, the pedals in the middle. down Harbor Boulevard. This is a Harbor Boulevard up in Ohio. Was you trying to take her home? I was taking her home. Your yeah. home or hers? Susie Homemaker. <laughs> Let me take you. And uh, man, and she was just having a blast. You was taking her for a ride. And uh, Crudel Buck, he came up back and he stopped me. And uh, man, he, oh, oh, man. I, I thought he was going to kill me. Oh. Yeah, Officer, I actually, Officer Crudel Buck, Lived a few doors down from me, so he knew me quite well. What was his name? Krudebot. 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 He's German. I can't, I can't spell it. Krudebot. Anyway. Good Lord. That's but, like a uh, word scramble. I, I looked him up one day to see if he was still living. I doubt it. He's yeah. probably going to just he's reward. Going to buy his house and flatten his tires. Yeah. Man, he could. But anyway, that was, but that was my. Okay, first now let's morph official. into something else. Okay, well, let me tell you. Okay. All okay. three of our stories have involved mm. have the something happened to the car where we were left yeah. stranded and barefooted. That's right. Yeah. That is true. So what do you end up doing when you're stranded barefooted? Well, you got to get out of there somehow. So you put out the thumb. Ride your thumb. Walk into Ride the new hole and... You start hitchhiking. Yeah. Have you had any experience? Oh, yeah. In hitchhiking, yeah, you should have lots of it. You yeah, should well, be you the, ran away from you home. should be the godfather. Uh, yeah, hitchhikers. Yeah, I, uh, I hitchhiked to had to hitchhike to Cle. I ran out of gas. I was working on the Penn Central Railroad right after I got out of high school. But I lived in Columbus, but I was working on a railroad in Cleveland, which is a hundred miles away. Oh. So I was had to drive to Cleveland to pick up my first check, check pay, paycheck. Chick. Oh, paycheck! Chick. And I ran out of gas, so. There was these, uh, uh, before I ran out of gas, there was these hippies on the road, and they were thumbing, so I stopped and picked them up, and then we went on up, it was Some driver he is. and then I ran out of gas. <laughs> they didn't beat you up so for that? they were mad that all of us were on the road just <laughs> hitchhiking after that. <laughs> hey, man, what a drag, what a drag. Dude, you didn't tell us you didn't have any gas. Yeah. Well, you didn't ask. <laughs> oh, <wow. laughs> More than happy to jump in there. Yeah. <laughs> Playing How about you, Mel? You, I mean, Mel, Luke, you had any experiences hitchhiking? No, I, I don't know that I've ever hitchhiked. Really? Have you ever picked up a hitchhiker? Uh, me and my buddy Buford picked one up one night. We was going over to Sarasota to see a movie mm-hmm. over there. We was in the middle of nowhere, and, well, I'd save that story. I don't know if it's even suitable for the radio now that I think about it. So. <laughs> We're down to about a minute, so we're gonna have to uh, hitchhike. Stick, stick one in there real quick. Right, our thumbs on a lot longer than a we come oh, back. Man. We talk about hitchhiking in the next segment. Okay. All right. Man, so this you, was a fast one. Y'all sit on your thumbs, and we'll be right back. Ouch. Ooh. Riding my thumb to Mexico. That was a song. Johnny right? Rodriguez. Is that it? Johnny Rodriguez. Right oh, we're not out of here yet. Yeah, we're still no, it. we're still on the air. What? Yeah. You gotta be careful what you say. Yeah. What's yeah. that other song? Hitching a uh, uh, hitching a ride. Thumb goes up, a car goes, goes by. by. Yeah. yeah. Hitching a ride. 
Hitching a ride. I don't remember who did that one, but anyway. It was a poor guy, that's for sure. Oh, but I'll tell you what, we could sit here and talk all day about hitchhiking songs. Let's do it.